Hi, so we arrived at Hong Kong um, last night and stayed at a lovely hotel and now we're at the airport and we're just about to get on to the plane to go to Australia. Yeah, off to Perth we go. walked from our hotel and now we're down by the, where the river um, meets the central part of town and there's a lovely little island we're standing on and it's a gorgeous day, a little too warm, uh, but there's a beautiful breeze which makes it bearable. Hi, so it's day three of Australia. The first day we arrived really late at night. The second day was yesterday and you saw us walking around Australia. Dad and I also went out later at night to look for a SIM card, but unfortunately all the shops closed really early. And then today we're on the quest again looking for SIM cards. So um, we're, at, we're just walking and it's a lovely day. It's really, really hot though. Um, it's going, going to get up to 40 degrees. 41. 41 degrees, so that's pretty crazy. But behind me is this beautiful old building. It's so pretty. Hi, so it's been a pretty chill night tonight. As you can hear, there's something in the background. Um, we're actually playing 1-2 Switch. <laughs> um, and just having fun with that. So here we are boarding the ferry to South Perth and we're going to the zoo. And off we go. So mom's going to tell us a bit about the zoo. So the zoo has been open for a hundred years and it has not closed for one day since it opened. It used to have polar bears but no longer and we're very sad about that but they've been gone for about 40 years. And we are going to spend the majority of our time this morning at the Aussie icon section of the zoo and hopefully get to see some koala bears, kangaroos, and numbats. I'm kind of interested to see what that is. It's Western Australia's um, mammal. And uh, we're going to just wander around the zoo for at least the morning until we get too hot and tired and enjoy ourselves. There are some kangaroos. We've come across some wallabies. They're just having a little rest. and termites a day so um, but what we have done is developed a, what we call a custard and it's made up of cellulose and um, all sorts of minerals and a marsupial um, base formula and there's little koala Yeah. 
Today you will be watching our conservation demonstration where we will discuss some of the issues facing wild elephants and what we can all do to aid them. So sit back and enjoy and we will come forward at the end to answer any further questions that you may have. Today our elephants will be doing are going through some very hard times in the wild. The estimated number population growing. As this grows, the need for land for farming and agriculture also grows. Along with the money that is raised from behind the scenes tours and keeping the half day experiences, is sent each year to chosen projects to help animals. See advertised on TV that that guy puts his feet on and all of a sudden he can run them out. Oh. Same principle. We have made it to Cotslow Beach. It is just gorgeous. After the ocean, we just relaxed. Aaron built Spongebob's pineapple, Squidward's house, and Patrick's house. And then she also built Spongebob. And that's his little um, uh, spatula and his hamburger up there. And, and that's little Gary. And then for me, I did this volcano. And also, I made this little doggo, and he has a bone. Hi, so we had a great time. This is our second to last day here. Well, our second to last pool day here. Um, and then on Wednesday, we have a, just a tiny short day before we leave for another part of Australia. Uh, we're just enjoying the beach today and it's absolutely beautiful weather. And we just had a lot of fun splashing around. I'm not sure what the plan is. Maybe we're gonna go to another beach or we might go back to the hotel. Okay, so we just got to Scabro, the real Scabro Beach, right? Yeah, Scarborough. Scarborough Beach, and but we just came from what we thought was Scar Scarborough Beach, but it turned no, it wasn't. It was Triggs Beach. It was what? Triggs. Triggs Beach. It was Triggs Beach, and uh, um, we went to you have a bunch, and I have hiccups, yes. Um, and then was that fun swimming? Yeah, and then here now we just ate lunch and we're gonna head back to the hotel. So today is our last full day in Perth and we decided we would go back to the beach so we went back to Cabo Oslo Beach I think is how you pronounce it and the waves are beautiful it's a gorgeous sunny day we're just going to play in the sand. Hi, so we just had a great time at the beach. And the weather was great at the beach. And Aaron and I built like this giant sand castle. At the beach. <laughs> but the water kept on washing it. At the beach. <laughs> Okay, here we are in Australia. We've just arrived last night. We're now having breakfast and we noticed they had Vegemites. Not to be confused with Nutella, Vegemite. Vegemite, Nutella. And we're gonna do the challenge where we each have to have a little piece of Vegemite. <laughs> 
Except for me, because I, um, I, Mom and Alicia dared Dad, but then Dad, uh, reversed it and made Alicia and Mom also have to have some. But I never dared Dad, so I'm out of it. I already had a little bit, though. Okay, here we are. Hey, I'm not you gonna film it, Bear? Yeah. You gonna film Mom? Be chopped up, please. Okay. No, no, no. I'll we'll let mom start. Okay, so mom picked the piece. <laughs> Not God. Does. Mom's gonna grab one. So, and, and go can I have an update him. there, Bear? So, just to update, so, we were. Um, wait, Dad, just make a new video. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. It's, 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 it is a new video. Okay. So okay. down here is what Dad originally made, and then um. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> so we met a local and said we're doing it all wrong, and you actually okay. just put it on very, very thin. Um, so now we're going to give it a try. Okay, and on white bread. With butter underneath. With butter. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Nice big bites, everyone. I'm going to try one. Oh, you're going to try it. Wow. Okay. Oh, much better. Whoa. That's salty. <laughs> Uh, you can eat the whole thing. <laughs> the whole thing? Yeah, the whole thing. Whoa. <laughs> eat the whole thing, kiddo. That's much thank better. You very much thank you. Your yeah, thank you. <laughs> that's much better. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's how I do it. Hi, so we just walked around beautiful Harrison Island. It is also known as Kangaroo Island. Supposedly there are six wild kangaroos that live on this island. It's a cute little walk in the in basically the center of Perth um, or close to the center of Perth. And it was a beautiful place to walk around. Didn't take us very long. Unfortunately, we didn't see any kangaroos today. But if you're ever in Perth, maybe you can go check out Harrison Island and see some kangaroos in the wild.